Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. This video is all about questions I've been getting in under my colour analysis about um, if a person has, let's say, dark hair, dark eyes, does it mean that they're automatically a darker season? So I'm going to address that here today. Keep in mind that we could also approach this conversation around, well, if somebody has uh, light hair, light eyes, doesn't that mean that they're dominantly light? So no matter where we go with the qualities here uh, and what we see in a person, we can say, well, okay, therefore they are light or they're dark or whatever approach we might take. I'm just gonna give you some clarity on that today because there seems to be some confusion. Before we get going into that, can I please ask you to like the video if you're enjoying it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you're able and willing, you can give some super thanks and I would be super grateful. You'll find my online course, Streamline Your Style, starting soon. Check it out in the link down below. When I first start doing colour analysis, the first thing I used to do was sit down and kind of see what was in front of me. So um, I was describing somebody's hair, eyes, skin. So let's say um, somebody had uh, dark eyes, dark hair, and they had dark skin as well. So looking at this person, you're using the word dark or deep over and over. You're looking for this pattern of words that you're using. Uh, and you're connecting those with the, the Munzel color system, which it talks about temperature, which is cool or warm, value, light or dark, and chroma, bright or muted. So we're looking, we're scanning for these qualities within a person. This is one approach that I see other people taking. I've got to say that, yes, this can contribute to you arriving at a suitable color season for yourself. However, it can also be misleading if you get too tunnel visioned on that approach. I could take myself for an example, actually. So um, I have dark hair, I've got dark eyes, uh, light skin, obviously. So somebody might look at me and, and automatically put me into a deeper category. No doubt about it, I can definitely wear colors that are deeper. However, if I choose to go there, it means that I can wear deep winter and deep autumn. That's just not the case for me. I don't look great in uh, deep autumn colors. They're too muddy for me. They're not clear enough. Um, they're, they're certainly not cool enough for me. What has been overlooked here is that I lack warmth in my hair and that actually my hair is quite cool, as are my eyes. My undertones are also cool. So, if you're looking at me and you don't know any better, you could be forgiven for saying that there's a dark winter. But once we start draping a person, and I've done this as well on my channel, you can see that video. Once you start draping that person in the colors, you can see that actually the deeper colors may not suit them better. I'm not saying this is 100% of the time, but they may not suit someone that well, and that other colors do actually suit them better. I was working with a client very recently uh, based in the US and she had done three other color consultations online and she was confused with the results that she got because there was all sorts of things from warm autumn, bright spring and a true winter. So uh, no doubt of course that she was confused by these results and when I analyzed her it became clear to me what was going on. So first of all, she did have dark hair, she did have dark eyes, and it turns out she had olive tones in the skin, deep olive tones in the skin. But when she wore the dark colors, they seemed a little drab on her. So the darker colors of, uh, of winter are actually a little bit softer than the other two sub-seasons. It turned out that the bright, sharp, clear colors of winter actually worked better for her. They gave her strong contrast against her, her face. And you know what happened when we put those brighter colors on her? Her eyes just shone. The whites of her eyes got whiter and the clarity of the color of her eyes were just so sharp and clear and they just looked phenomenal. So to me, she ended up being a bright winter. So someone maybe who was inexperienced or didn't know any better or who hadn't dealt with a variety of skin tones, skin undertones, placed her in a category that 
didn't feel right instinctively to this woman and rightly so. It was not right. True Winter was the closest but even at that I thought it was the brighter colours even Bright Spring worked better on her than uh, some of the other winter colours which looked a bit drab. The main thing for her was that she needed the brightness and sharpness of those intense colours of winter and that's what worked best. So the moral of the story is I've seen so many people saying oh well I've got light skin, I've got light, light hair, I've got light eyes and yes there may be a good chance that you are a light season but also if you haven't been draped and if you haven't been draped by an experienced professional, you could be getting it wrong. Okay, so um, just be careful not to pigeonhole yourself into a category solely based on what you're seeing. I'm just saying that there's a, a chance that it could be wrong. So now that client in the US was confident, they could see the process that I took them through, they understood the reasoning um, and they felt much more confident and that, <laughs> that fourth colour consultation is the end of the road for her colour consultations and you can imagine that that gets pretty expensive, okay? So also beware, you know, when somebody's offering a colour consultation to you and it's, it's cheap, there's generally a reason for it. Beware low prices, you may end up paying that price again two or three times instead of paying it once to an experienced person and getting it right straight away. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and I'll see you again next time. Take care.